60 days dispensing change, changes for pharmacies, um, big medical discussions in Parliament, of course, around pricing. Uh, there is huge cost of living pressures. Your thoughts? Well, we've been clear that um, we support cheaper medicines for Australians. The concern that we have, and this uh, it came to a head really in this last week in Parliament, the concern that we have is the lack of adequate consultation between the Health Minister, Mark Butler, and pharmacies. Uh, this will have a significant impact on the financial viability of pharmacies. Uh, the hit to pharmacies in dollar terms is significant. Now, at the same time, of course, we want to see Australians getting cheaper medicines, but the issue we've been pursuing is, well, what happens if this leads to pharmacies, particularly in regional and remote areas, but potentially in metropolitan areas as well, having their viability threatened such that they no longer operate? It, is not of much benefit to Australians to say, well, you can get cheaper medicines, but you don't have a pharmacy to be able to go to, particularly, for example, in a regional town, to get your medicines. Uh, and we have been pressing the government to have a more appropriate process in the way that it uh, uh, engages with pharmacies on this matter. Uh, and that was the focus, certainly, of our disallowance motion in the Senate last week. Uh, and so we do continue to call on the government to engage with the pharmacy sector on this matter. Um, and uh, that's uh, been our consistent message. Finally, looking overseas, and it's a bit of a question without notice, but we discussed it this morning with a, a legal expert in the US. You're a very learned individual. You're ducks in your school, studied, but also a keen, um, you know, like a keen viewer of what happens internationally. Do you find what's happening in the United States in and around Donald Trump, all the legal issues and still being the lead candidate in the Republican Party to have the candidacy for the next election. Astonishing. The United States is an extraordinary nation. I had the chance to live there for a couple of years when I was uh, doing a master's degree at Columbia in New York. Um, it is a very big place. It's a very diverse place. In one part of the country, you can feel it's very different from another part of the country. It's also a country that has uh, optional voting rather than compulsory voting, and that tends to cause both major parties to have more of a focus on, um, rather than going to the centre, um, seeking to engage their base to come out and vote. So that, that can produce some different behaviours in the political system. At the same time, what I'd say is, you know, the United States has been a robust and vigorous democracy for a long time. It's gone through some very testing times. There was a civil war, of course, mm. second half of the 19th century. I don't think we've seen a political scene quite like it since the civil war. Well, um, the, the point I make is, yes, the United States system is under strain at the moment, mm. but it's also proven to be a very resilient system over uh, more than two centuries. It's certainly in Australia's interest that the United States gets through the current challenges. Um, and that balance between the political process and uh, judicial processes, criminal investigations and so on, uh, is um, always one that needs to be navigated carefully. Uh, so I'd, I would simply say it's in our interest that the great strengths and flexibility of the United States system, which has overcome big challenges before, is able to overcome these challenges now. Yeah, certainly challenges, that's for sure. It's going to be an interesting 12 months. Let's finish on a bright note. How many do we beat England by on Wednesday? Well, let's not put any kind <laughs> of hex on the Matildas. They've done such a fabulous yeah. job, and I'm sure uh, their coach will be working with them very closely on the right mental um, attitudes. They've shown such great mental strength yeah. in getting through. I mean, I was at our local live site at St Ives Village Green watching the loss to Nigeria. Uh, so to bounce back from that, of course, mm. has been important. Um, I'm sure they will be focused and they'll bring their mental strength as well as superb, superb physical uh, attributes to that game. Oh, yeah, fingers crossed. And I think the TV ratings, I reckon they'll be the greatest we've ever seen on Wednesday night. I really mm. do. 